Hey Trojans, it's Mr. Gardner with our last instructional video for returning to school for quarter four. This is video number five and it's on health and safety. We've touched on those items in all four previous and we're gonna hit it a, just a little bit harder in this one, just so you're very clear on the practices we're using. So let's talk about, let's keeping uh, Auburn High School safe. We know that our goal each day is that students and staff can go home healthy. Okay, you've seen this slide before. It was in one of the first videos uh, that talks a little bit about or informs a little bit about doing your self screen every single day before you come to school. If you can't do it, you know, we have check-in points where we get to do that in the morning. Try to make this part of your daily routine to help keep you and others safe. This also helps keep our family safe when we return to school. You know that there's two links here to show you how to load your phones and how to take your screening each day. Okay, there's uh, three videos here. I wish there were more um, because we have uh, one on proper mask wearing and types. I think it lasts about a minute, 45 seconds. On the PDF version of this slideshow that I've put in the email, you're gonna be able to click on that link. And uh, one of our uh, professionals in our district is gonna show you exactly what we're looking for in terms of mask wearing. Uh, the second video, there's an English and a Spanish version. Um, you may have already seen this before, but uh, if you haven't, or if you'd like to watch it again, it's, it's entertaining. Uh, our Department of Transportation took care of that. I think they did a nice job about how we're supposed to take care of things on the buses um, if you're using bus transportation. I know there's about, oh, about 350 of you out there that are going to be using bus transportation for quarter four. So you definitely want to take a look at it. Okay, this is the last video in this series. Please be sure that you watch all five before you return to school. If you've already watched them, that's great. If you wanna go back and watch them again, um, if you miss some things, that's fine too. And remember our goals every day, we wanna return everybody home safely. Okay, just in review, um, stay home if you're sick, okay? If you're not feeling well, just stay home. Um, you know, there's days in the past we grind through them if we got, you know, a bad cough or uh, whatever, sore throat, because, you know, we didn't have to worry about a pandemic. It's still out there right now. It's still around, um, even though our rates are going down. So we want to be really smart. And you'll be able to get into your lessons and be able to learn from your Chromebooks at home. Always wear a mask from the time we come onto campus or the time you walk out of your, your car, or your parents' car. Um, private vehicles, get your mask on, and uh, that is going to be a really a, a tight expectation around Auburn High. Okay, the other thing that are going to be a tight expectation is we're always maintaining social distancing. Now, it's okay to pass people in the hallways and things like that, uh, masked, uh, as long as we're not standing in place, so we're not going to be doing gathering, things like that. If we are gathering, we're going to make sure we're keeping six feet of distance, and that's just, you know, three three or two yards basically, or in the picture shows two meters, okay? Um, the other thing we wanna be really great at is washing our hands. Um, use soap and water, of course. All of our soap dispensers are disinfecting soap. And then we use hand sanitizers as we're entering classrooms, entering offices. We'll have some freestanding units around. We'll be strategic about where we place them. Uh, we just wanna make sure that we're always keeping things clean. Okay, the other thing, our safety goal um, has to do with always cleaning up our work areas and our eating areas before we leave. More than likely, it's gonna be our adults gonna be spraying the tables just because we wanna get into a routine. Students will always have an orange microcloth. They'll get a free one, not a free one, a clean one. Um, they are free, but we gotta throw them back into a bucket. We'll have a clean uh, receptacle. We'll use those each class and at lunch and we'll throw everything into a dirty bucket and we'll get fresh towels every single week. Okay, if you got a sneeze, of course, uh, we're gonna be masked, not like the picture at the top, but we wanna turn away from people. We wanna try to put our face or our mask into our elbows as much as possible. Yeah, it's not pleasant to sneeze in your mask. I've done that a few times or, you know, not quite as uh, bad as sometimes you got a cough. We definitely wanna turn our heads. Um, I also wanted to say, well, you know, if you're at school, you got to school and it's fourth period, everything's fine. and Maybe you're not feeling so good a little bit later in the day. I'd want you to know that we have a plan. We definitely want you to go through a process and we want to use our common sense. We don't want to panic if we're starting to feel like we're not feeling well. 
Okay, I want you to take your own health inventory, okay? If, you have, if you're someone that has a lot of uh, allergies, you know, having the sniffles might be a pretty normal thing for you. But check out some of your other symptoms. If you're feeling like things just aren't your normal baseline, uh, reach out to a staff member. If you're in class, talk to your teacher. If you're out in the hallways or at lunch, talk to one of the staff members around. It's just smart to be sure. Okay, what if you're not feeling well? Sometimes things can happen and we just have to play it safe, like I said. So let a staff member know. Now, staff members may escort you or notify the nurse's health station that you're on your way. Probably in most cases, since you spend most of your time in class, it's going to be a teacher that's going to call the health room at 701-370. And they're going to let the student health staff know that you are on your way. Now, if you're feeling dizzy or anything like that, we'll probably have a staff member walk down uh, to, to the place with you, okay? If you look at the map, um, it's the front of our school. And basically what we're looking at here is the main entry. This is the main office over here. This is our attendance. This is our, our guidance. You have to have appointments to go into the guidance office. That's the big A uh, for Auburn High School. It's in the middle main intersection of our first floor. But if you do have to go to, we're calling it the COVID separation room. Uh, that's what it is right now. Normally it's a counseling uh, conference room, but you would walk down this hall. Typically, if you're going to counseling, you'd walk in doors right here, but those doors are going to have signs on them and the door is going to tell you you have to have an appointment and this isn't where you go for your health needs, okay? It's going to tell you to keep walking down the hallway. You'll keep walking down the 100 East Hall and then you'll find a door that's got a sign on it. You'll walk in there. There'll be someone who've met, who's met you. That's why we don't want you showing up unannounced, okay? They'll let you in. And then they'll walk you into the isolation room, which is that big conference room. We do a lot of meetings in there, but it's been repurposed for the short time. And then they'll do your checking there. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like visually. This is what our counseling office would look like from the 100 East Hallway. It's right across from our elevators. You're going to see a sign on the window. It's probably going to be bigger than this one. That's just our little sample one for right now. And it's going to tell you to walk down the hall. So you'll continue east down the hallway until you come to this door. Um, so like I said, counseling office is going to tell you, head to the health room access. Okay, so you'll walk down the hallway, you'll come here, you'll look for this sign where it says health room access, please use this door. Please know that we're not using the health room for quick visits or ice or bathroom privileges or anything like that. We're going to be equipping our teachers with more things like bandages and things like that to take care of any little scrapes and bumps that might happen out in the, reg in the regular school um, away from the health room. We're really going to try to keep the health room for students with fevers or students who are showing um, symptoms of possibly having COVID. Now, just because you have symptoms, that doesn't mean you have COVID. Uh, we're going to give you guys uh, every best care that we can. Here's the three ladies that uh, are going to be staffing uh, our nurses station COVID separation room, Miss Lori Wood, she's a registered nurse, uh, Miss Pam Stevenson, she's a health tech, Miss Tammy Steve, she does a lot of different things around her school. She's been trained to help out uh, in the COVID separation room, in the health room, and she's also going to be available. So I wanted you to see what they're going to look like, because when you do, if you do have to show up to the COVID room, they're going to be wearing some maximum PPE. They're going to be masked, probably shielded, and they're going to look a little bit more like the person in the corner up here. So you'll be met in the health room uh, by a health staff member wearing a medical gown, face mask, face shields, and gloves. You'll be placed in our separation room, which is basically the counseling conference room. You'll be asked questions about your symptoms, just like you would at the doctor's office, and assess and temperature taken. Really important to tell the truth. and Just tell them exactly what's going on. It's your health that matters most. Your parent or guardian will be notified immediately. If it takes them a while to come get you, um, you could get on your Chromebook probably and just keep following along with lessons if you're feeling well enough to do that. If you need to lay down, we'll, we'll make sure you have an opportunity to lay down. You and your parent guardian will be given further instruction at that time when they show up and when you may return to school. Any student with COVID-19 symptoms will go home for that day and may resume learning online. So that's the basics of what happens. I'm not going to say this happens every single time because we take everything case by case. Um, and of course, if you were to get injured out in the school, if you're in a PE class and trip and fall and sprain your ankle, of course, we're going to send help out to go get you, okay? Um, whether that's a nurse with a, with a wheelchair or we just have someone walk you to, to wherever we can take care of you, that, that's not going to stop. 
Okay, just some reminders. Uh, stay home if you're ill. Make sure you do your screening. This is one that would be on your phone. Um, we have signs all over the building reminding you to do your well check. Um, here's some basics on COVID safety. Um, you'll see this big sign. We have it in English and Spanish. It's going to be all around the school. Same thing with the cover your face. And how do we show Troy? Um, with our basic safety is daily skyward wellness checking and screening before you do your check in, before you enter the school. Follow all COVID-19 procedures. Do your part for your own safety and maintain social distancing. Do your part for the safety of others and wear your mask. How do we show that we're organized? We enter the school only through a designated entrance. You know that before school starts, it's going to be the west entrance and it's going to be the north gym foyer entrance. Everything after that, after 935, will be the attendance office on the south end of school. Follow all foot traffic procedures. That's covered in the second video. Follow and participate in all of our cleaning protocols. That's going to be in the third video. And then you're also going to get a lot more instruction from your teachers in each of their classes. How do you show this is about you? Well, you belong at HS and you should be able to go home healthy. All of our safety efforts are all about you. So do your part for others. So this puts an end to our five informational videos on how we're going to return to school safely. And with, uh, we're going to do it together. We're going to do it very respectfully of our protocols. We're going to be organized. And this is about you. It's about all of us. And I wanted to just give you a little preview. Next week, Mr. Isham will release our student video on how to do school at AHS during quarter four. We look forward to seeing you um, once we're able to start quarter four. And this video will actually feature AHS students showing you how we're supposed to do things. So you'll get to see it in practice before you show up. So again, if you missed out on anything, go back to any of the five videos. And uh, again, I thank you for listening, for watching. As I said, we look forward to seeing everybody who's coming back to school. And we look forward to continuing working with students online. Have a great day, everybody.